Now the most important aspect to move this game from a game to actually a simulator um, is to preserve the spatial awareness of the cockpit. Because what happens is you look down and when you let go, it doesn't go back to eye level. So you lose that spatial awareness, now you're staring down. So within Flight Simulator, there's a way to look down and save that key sequence. So what I've done is I've mapped the down key to actually look at my gauges, look at all my uh, instruments, but when I release, it goes back to eye level. Now also the up kind of brings you up. It's kind of like in your seat when you sit up and you're looking to land, it gives you better, uh, just a better visual of the runway. But when you let go, it's back to normal. So you can see what I mean about the spatial awareness. Now I've also added look left, look right, um, I have a button to click and look down. So this is kind of when you're making preparations before you leave. Uh, you just click, look down, and now you see the entire thing. And now you can do all your prep checklists and everything. So I'm just going to set my flaps to half. Um, got my trim here. I'm just going to trim for the landing. Spoilers here. Spoilers are off. I'm just going to turn off the uh, keyboard. Okay, so now just set up my straight and level flight. And I'm already going to kind of take the speed down because it starts a little fast, 180 knots. So I'm going to take it down to at least like 130 or something, 130 knots. So you can see it's nice here. So I can simply use this button, look at my controls, kind of get a really close up view. As soon as I release, it goes back and I see my full spatial awareness of the cockpit. And I can also look right at all the beautiful mountains here at New Zealand. I can look left and look down at the water. My God, it's a long way down. And so it's just kind of nice. It just kind of gets you in the simulator. I feel I'm in this plane and with this bumping, like this whole desk feels like this is the plane. So it's kind of cool. Okay, so I can see my glide slope now, I'm a little low, so I'm going to just, instead of going up, I'm just going to trim for level flight and just kind of wait until that glide slope gets below me. My speed now, it's 140, I want to go a little slower, so I'm just going to pull back on my engines a tiny bit more. And I'm just trimming just to keep it straight and level right now. Okay, so now my glide slope's coming back. I see on the window there, there's a little green circle. So now I'm good. So I'm going to take a peek up here and just rope rock the plane to kind of see. There's the runway. Okay, how's my speed doing? 120, 115, that's good. That's good, we're good. Okay, it's going to take how beautiful that sun is. I can see that sun coming in the window. Like, God, it feels, it's getting real. Compared to where these simulators have started, this is pretty amazing. Okay, I'm going to do my turn to final. I'm not going to, oh, no, I will. I'm going to start my descent just a little bit. I'm trying to, I'm trying to aim for like 500 feet a minute. You can see that little one that's 1,000. So I'm just trying to kind of get it. Okay, let's do full flaps. Push a little more throttle into that, into the drag that the flap flaps create. So just from that stall warning, I just give a bit more. I think that's good. I approach. I'm at 115. See my now my approach is good. Slowly, so I'm just peeking above the thing to make sure I'm going the right direction. Okay, the glide slope feels good right now. It still says I'm low, but feels like feels okay. Okay, there's my 500. So I should be able to pull back and like now. I'll try pulling back all the way now. 
let my speed bleed off. No, a little too early. Okay, right now I'm just holding it, just trying to hold it above. felt a little bit better. Whoa! Whew. Okay, come on, slow down. What did I get? I feel like I did okay there. 400,000! I could do better than that. <laughs> oh, my ground roll was terrible. Next, I don't think you need a perfect replica of this airplane within your home. I mean, it'd be nice, but I don't think you need it. But what you do need is you need various controls that are very tactile and they allow you to interact with the cockpit and they're roughly in the same location as here. For example, I don't put my flaps on the left hand, I put the flaps on the right side because within the cockpit you have your flaps here, I have my spoilers here, I have my uh, throttle here, I even have a trim here. And it's just nice, I have my gear up and here, down here, so it's roughly when I look at the cockpit, I'm kind of comfortable and I understand the general cockpit. From my trim, I also did right and left. So what this allows you to do is just as you're flying, if you're, if you're touching the trim a lot, you can just click a button and then kind of get a good visual from the left or a good visual from the right as you're adjusting the trim. So you can see I've replicated different key sequences multiple times and it really gives this nice feeling within the jet. Now the process is easy to set up in Flight Simulator 2020. You simply have to just look down, push Control Alt, and then assign a number, and then release. And I've already assigned all of the different commands into those Alt 1, Alt 2, etc. So what happens is while you're flying, you can actually just look down, do Control Alt, uh, we'll do like one, and then what happens is it always goes back to that location. If you're like, oh, I want it a little closer, you can kind of just zoom in you can see here, it is very close, but for example, control alt one, and now you can see when I push, it zooms right into those controls. So you get exactly where you are coming from. So this works pretty well. Um, that's where I did the right and the left. It's all the same kind of controls. Okay, so adjust my trim. And uh, yeah, put flaps to half. So I'm just going to fly straight to that peak. And I'll do my final, kind of right when I get close to that peak, give myself some time to clear up my glide slope. Okay, I'm going to let myself start descending now since I'm definitely on base. Turn final in a second. Yeah, I'll turn final now. slow down, I'm on short final here. Just did full flaps there.
There we go. A million. That's good. I'm happy with that. Well, there it is. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see and you want to support me, head on to my Patreon page and you can actually download this software as well as all these other tools I'm developing that give you a greater immersion within your simulator. Thank you.